Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be reviewing AEW Dynamite, 25th of March 2020. We kick off the show with Cody, Kenny Omega, and Tony Schiavone on commentary, welcoming us. Uh, we then see wrestlers in a trailer, not at ringside for kind of like context of people watching. I get why they did it, didn't work as well as last week, but public health, I guess, so okay. We then had Cody versus Jimmy Havoc. Uh, Havoc got a lot more offense in, but Cody was in quite a lot of control. Cody hit two crossroads and pinned Havoc. I'm going to give it a 3.25. Overall, a very good showing from both men. I really did enjoy it. Uh, then we go to a pre taped Jake Roberts promo. He said his motivation for going after Cody was explained. He said he's the best mind in wrestling and didn't get so much as a phone call when AEW started. Cody was afraid to bring Lance Archer into the fold because he saw him wrecking people all over the globe and was afraid. Caesar, and then referred to Brandy Rose as Jezebel, Delilah, and Monica to Cody's bill. And yeah, he said Cody can bring whoever he wants along, be Brandy on Anderson. As long as Jake and Archer get a shot, Cody should trust him. Really, really good promo. 9 out of 10. Jake Roberts cuts a damn good promo. Cody uh, was joined at the commentary desk and was asked about Jake's promo. He said he was bitter and nowhere wrestling should be going. He said Ar uh, Lance Archer can debut next week. Um, yeah, that was not bad. Then we go to a Darby Allen promo. He said tonight, Sabian is a sacrifice for the sins of the inner circle. Then takes off like masks of the inner circle, put them on a table and set it on fire. 9 out of 10. Darby Allen has really weird but awesome promo packages. We then go to Darby Allen vs. Kip Sabian. Um... Yeah, they had a slight weird thing during the match. They said that they were going to commercial on TNT during this match, but we're still live on TNT. Uh, then it cut halfway through a sentence on TNT. They they kind of got confused. Uh, Alan used a modified figure four leg lock with a bridge called The Last Supper for the pinfall. Overall, pretty decent match. I like Darby Allen, I like Kip Sabian. They both got some decent offense in. Going to give the match a two point, uh, 3 out of 5. We then had Jake Hager versus uh, Chio Adams. Uh, Vader Bomb, Uranagi, head arm triangle, he passes out. Complete squash match, no rating, but Hager looked alright. After the match, uh, John Moxley makes his way in. They trade strikes, Moxley hits a paradigm shift. Hager then manages to get Moxie's ankle. Moxie kicked him off and Hager retreated. Overall, not a bad post-match attack. 7 out of 10. They were told that they're on a collision course. Which I can't wait to see. Moxie then caught a promo said he's cleared for action. Hager walked away right from a fight, but he won't be walking away next time. Hager will be carted away on a stretcher or Moxie will die trying. 8 out of 10. Moxie's very effective. We then have a video of uh, the exalted one, Brody Lee, uh, eating a steak dinner with a Alex Reynolds and John Silver. Uh, there, he's like talking about being the best and trying to numbers and all that kind of stuff. Lee kicked Silver out for trying to take a bite of his dinner before Lee was finished eating. Lee told Reynolds to be to smarten up his boy. Reynolds then sneezed. Uh, I wonder where he got that reference from. Um, and then he kicks him out of the room. Uh, you see, Vince McMahon likes snakes, snakes and hates sneezing. Someone said this, noted them this thing. If you think it was an inside baseball reference, this is not for you. But yeah, that was a complete <laughs> anti WWE promo, and it was it was pretty good. Seven out of ten. Then Brody Lee went against. QT Marshall. Um, Lee hit a boss man slam and then discus lariat to pin him. 
Cutie Marsh got a bit of offense in, but Broden and Lee basically beat the hell out of him. After the match, a masked dog order follower entered the ring, dropped a mask on the fallen marshal, presumably offering him a chance to join. Uh, Going to give the match a 2.5 out of 5. It was fairly average. It was just there basically to put Broden Lee over, but it wasn't that great of a match. But it made him look strong, so that's the main point. Then uh, Vanguard 1 provided an update on Nick Jackson, who was 61% recovered from the Inner Circle's attack two weeks ago. Thank you, Van God One. Much respect you do. Then we had the AAA Mega Championship. The holder is Kenny Omega face Sammy Guevara. Uh, Guevara kissed a paper picture of Brandy Rhodes. Which was disturbing and then he ripped it in the face. Then he went and approached Brandy and then she slapped him. Dude! Don't kiss pictures of people, it's weird. Uh, the match ended with V Trigger, One Winged Angel. Gonna give the match a 3.5 out of 5. It was a pretty damn good match, to be fair. Uh, these two put on a clinic of a match under the circumstances, to be fair, and I massively, massively enjoyed everything of it. We then go to. Chris Jericho, Le Champion, makes his way to the ring. Uh, talks about his uh, the fact Matt Hardy debuted and then aligning with the Elite. Jericho calls him idiots and believes Matt Hardy isn't stupid. He invites Matt Hardy to join him. Van God One enters. Jericho then says, I dislike you, Van God One, your political views and your social media posts. Yes, Jericho was really having a conversation with Van God One in this situation. Somehow Jericho... <laughs> Uh, yeah, somehow Jericho made this work. He offered him the best mechanical tobacco. Vanguard 1 flies away. Jericho yells at it. Matt Hardy appears in the stands and then teleports around the building. Yes, really. Matt Hardy enters. Jericho wants to know how he teleported. Matt Hardy claims he is magic. Jericho explains how things work in AEW. This is his show. He's the one you want to join. Matt Hardy claims he owes the Books of you Youth a debt. And they resurrected broken Matt Hardy. The broken one declares AEW has his own Arcadia and vows to protect it. Jericho points out that he made Sar single-handedly. He offers him a chance to join the Inner Circle. Matt Hardy said he has a debt to repay. There's an entire, entirely different entity possessing this vessel. Uh, Damascus, he's a 3,000 years old. Jericho's like, you're the same Matt Hardy I've known for 25 years. Jericho tells him he lived his whole career in someone's shadow the whole of his career like his brother. Jericho said, I'll give you one more chance. Matt Hardy shouts, delete, 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 delete. Jericho tells him no one is here to chat with him. Matt's like, no one's here to sing Judas. Matt Hardy claims, I knew the real Judas and he betrayed me as well. Uh, I never heard. Uh, Matt Hardy then sings the obsolete songs to Jericho, claiming that Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King were in the audience. Hardy tells him to take a good look at the entity that would delete him. The two exchange, uh, well, Jericho slaps him, then Hardy just decks him. Sammy Guerrero attacks Hardy from behind. Kenny Omega and Cody make the save with chairs. Hardy, Matt Hardy magically makes Pyro go off, scaring Jericho and Guevara away. Overall... You know that segment's going to get a 10 out of 10. I absolutely adore Broken Matt Hardy. And this was his brokenness in all of its glory. Yes. It was brilliant. Jericho and Matt Hardy worked very well in the promo. They kept it um, Matt Hardy level of ridiculous. But they also kept it on point of the story. Which was really good. Matt Hardy can somehow do things without making any sense. That's just the power of Matt Hardy. But overall, the show was pretty decent. I had some good wrestling action. Not as much comedy as last week due to there's no people in the audience. But public safety and all that. I'm going to give the show a 7 out of 10. Overall, it was the best wrestling we've seen all week. I can't deny that fact. But yes, I do love AEW. Good job, guys. 
And as always, I really do hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, please smash that like button, share and subscribe, and I shall catch you all. Later. Bye.